Hello there and welcome back. I'm on the laptop tonight and in the kitchen so I thought I'd stick on the little camera so I can wave at you and you can see my face looking really confused, you know. Anyway, welcome back. In this video we're going to talk about the routing system or the routing system. You can call it what you want. Routing, routing, routes, 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 routes. who cares, right? I'll try and go with the routing system because I am from sunny Scotland but you can call it whatever you want. Hey, listen, you can call it the hamburger system if you want. It doesn't matter to me. But the point is we're going to be taking URLs and converting them into actions, okay? That's all we're doing here, and that's the whole point of the routing system. Now, the good news is this is something that you've already done. Look, remember the last thing? Do you remember this stuff here? Hello, David. Hello, John. Look, look, remember all of this? Well, congratulations, because what we were doing is we were looking at a URL pattern, in this case, hello, and then the name, and we were responding. And in this case, we were responding by saying hello, comma, name, okay? That right there, the thing that you have already done, is setting up a custom route. Congratulations. Yes, you truly have done this before, right? But the difference in this video is that we're going to do this within the context of a fully functional, well, maybe not fully functional, but fully formed in terms of folders and what have you, slim application, right? So, uh, shall we begin? Okay. Now, quick thing I want to say. Um, usually, it's nice to type along and I hope you enjoy that and I hope you're typing along. In this instance, we're going to do something different. I want you to give your fingers a little break, okay? Take a little rest and I just want you to watch me for a wee minute or two because there's something that I want to show you and I think it's a point that needs to be made, okay? So just relax, no typing allowed, just watch me, okay? And, uh, whoops, sorry about that. I'm going to change the colour scheme here. Is this any easier? Is that okay? Right, okay, cool. And like I was saying, there's something that you need to be aware of. So here we go. This thing that we got here was taken from the Slim website, actually straight from the homepage, right? Now, I'm going to go into the user guide. I'm going to find the routing system here, the, the routing or routing section. I don't know what, what I'm saying, routing, routing, I don't know. Anyway, <sighs> right, I'm going to find um, an example, a basic example of a get route. And here's one here, straight from the user guide. And I'm going to head over here. And I'm going to paste in. I'm going to co uh, comment this out here like this. And then I'm going to do a little adjustment here. A little adjustment here. And then we're going to take this. We're going to do that. And then where it says name equals request, blah, 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 blah. Now I'm going to say name equals args name. And we'll say hello there. So, what do you think is going to happen when I refresh this page? The answer is pretty much exactly the same thing, except it says hello there, okay? Interesting. Isn't that kind of interesting? Because look, we have four, one, two, three, four horsemen of the apocalypse upstairs, but downstairs... We have the three amigos and the thing still works. And look at this name thing. We've got name, request, blah, 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 blah. And then this completely different thing going on, args, and it still works. Isn't that kind of strange? Now, I'm going to comment this one out here, okay? I'm starting to feel like a, I don't know, some kind of cheap magician here. <laughs> but let's try something else. Let's take this out and let's take this out. And this time, uh, we'll say hello again, right? So, what do you think is going to happen this time? The answer is, it says hello again, and everything works exactly as normal. Now, why am I showing you this? 
Well, it's really to make a very important point about not only the SLIM framework, but PHP frameworks in general. And the point is that there's more than one way to do something when you're dealing with the SLIM framework. You can go to other YouTube videos or you know, books on Amazon or screencasts or wherever, and you may see people doing things a little bit differently. And in this example, even in the user guide, even within the official user guide, they, you know, there's moments where they do things one way and then the other and all that. But the point is, don't worry, okay? Just relax. It's perfectly normal. So if you go out there and you see someone uh, doing something, I don't know, um, a dat dealing with the databases in a different way or setting up uh, roots in a slightly different way. Just relax, okay? Don't worry. And I just want to reassure you that that's kind of normal as far as the slim framework goes, okay? And as far as PHP in general goes, okay? Point made. Thank you very much. Let's move forward. All right, so now you can start typing. Are you ready to join in here? Okay, so uh, let's take all of this stuff out here. My cat's gone crazy. I'm going to bring it in. Hang on. Right, you. <laughs> okay, take this stuff out here. And I want you to... Right, right, hold on. There you go. There you go. <laughs> sorry, sorry about that. <laughs> okay, okay. I want you to create a new folder here. We're gonna call it app, right? And inside this app folder, I'm gonna create another new folder, and we're gonna call it API. Okay, we are after all building an API. And I accidentally clicked something, but that's okay. Right. So in this API folder. I'm going to build a PHP file that talks to a MySQL database and specifically talks to a table that's called books, okay? So I'm going to make a new file up and I'm going to call it books.php. Um, now, this books.php file is going to contain a root a custom root. Can you handle the vibe? So the way it's going to do that is we're going to say we're building up on the app object and it's going to say get. It's going to do that and that. Okay. Now, behold, this right here, folks, is the most basic example of a root that you'll ever see, you know. This is the basic anatomy of a root, and it comes in four parts. First section is we are building up the app object, okay? You can handle that. The next section is this part here, which is called the method. Now, we are using get, which means we are reading the URL, we are getting from the URL. But we could have said um, put, or we could have said delete, or we could have said post, or a whole bunch of other stuff. In this case, we are using get, so that's the HTTP uh, request type that this is going to deal with, okay? Uh, now, this section here is the pattern that we're looking for, the URL pattern, okay? So in the case of this here, I'm going to go with the pattern API forward slash how about just API forward slash books, okay? And then this last section is our action, okay? And a lot of the time with the slim framework, that will just be a function, you know? So uh, this is what we are going to do when somebody goes to this URL, okay? So that's the most basic, basic example possible of a root, and it's actually perfectly functional. So I'm going to say, uh, welcome to books, okay? 
Simple as that. And if I go back to this here, our index thing, and just say, let's see, require once, and we'll go out of here and into app, uh, then API, and then books. Uh, .php. So if we do that and then we go to this URL up here, can you see that it now says welcome to books? Now um, what's really cool about this is we can have anything at all in here and when I say anything I mean anything. Look I'm going to say um, oh gee, Superman, <laughs> you know, and here we go. It still says welcome to books. We could have had absolutely anything at all in here. Banana, you know, and look at this. Banana, look at this. See, welcome to books. It's the coolest vibe ever. Now, if you haven't done this kind of thing before, then please, Take a minute to pause and just celebrate what you've achieved here because you now actually have complete control over the URL. A few years ago, this would have been a revolution in the world of PHP, you know? So this is some really cool stuff, even though it looks kind of simple. And we can add other files in. I'll add a file in called, uh, let's see, genres. And that's going to deal with the genres table. And... Uh, We'll just go something like this, and we'll have this one responding to API forward slash genres. Actually, I'll have this books thing behaving in a bit of a more sensible fashion here. So API forward slash books, we'll have API forward slash genres, and we can go like this over to this here. And if we include our genres thing, and we go to API, forward slash genres, it says welcome to genres. So we have welcome to books, <laughs> welcome to genres, and there you have it. You now have complete control over the URLs. So congratulations, I'm gonna go and take care of this cat Make sure she's well fed and looked after and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.